Hello, buddy. I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Bark Miss with Chowk. We have a little bit of a more intimate setting now. As you notice, we don't have all the lights on. We just have this little light here. This is called Christmas 2015. Um, what's new? Nothing much. You know, we're celebrating uh, New Year's. <laughs> we're celebrating Christmas Eve. Um, like I said, yes, last year we didn't have a tree. Today, this year we do. I don't, I'll show you the tree after I do everything. Um, this this video is not going to be very long. Because, like I said, it is Christmas Eve, and I want to get back and watch videos and do, watch TV shows and all that. I had a real funny uh, story. Um, my mother called me, and she found out that I do a show by Chris and Jeff, and she's thinking that I'm new to something. Um, the basis of the show is by Chris and Jeff. I'm in a row, which, which indicates it's morning. I know it's not morning. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. But, um, but, um, basically, I tell her I do a show called Barks to Jeff. The, the robe represents, you know, morning. You get up, you have your average, you have your average cup of coffee and all that. Um, if some of you don't know, um, we gotta, we gotta thank our sponsors. Mountain Dew, of course, the official soft drink of all my shows. Um, another one would be JBC, which just happens to be the camera that I'm using. Um, also Sam, she's the producer. She tells me pretty much what I, can, what I was saying, what I won't say. Um, getting back to the story about my mom, I apologize. She found out that I am doing the show, and I had to explain to her, it's called Black Mr. Jeff, and I basically, the robe indicates the morning. Now, I understand it's, nine, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, but if you notice, we do have kind of an intimate setting. All we got is this little light here, and all the lights are off other than that. Um, so basically, that's so that's basically what I told my mother. mother. Mother thought that I was doing a video every day, every day. Well, I love to do a video every day, folks. I would. But unfortunately, I promised to do this video on Monday throughout the week. Unfortunately, I didn't do it. It is now the 24th of December. It is Christmas Eve. Um, cooking, having a cook. Um, I would love for you guys on Christmas Day to take a look at all this stuff. You know, how good how good our Christmas was and all that. Um, and basically the videos is we got a lot of great friends that live in different states. We got one from California, one from Louisiana. Um, we have one from, I think... South Dakota, South Carolina, something like that. Good friends, and I know my good friends. They can't, um, they can't be here. They can't come into our home and visit with us. So we bring us to them, and that's what the whole camera's going to do. And so for the next twenty minutes or half an hour, you'll be able to hear my sh hear my show and all that. Um, sponsors. I'm sorry, I was supposed to do my sponsors, and I forgot. I was getting into a story. Um, like I said, Mountain Dew is the official soft drink of all my shows. As you see, I don't have a soft drink in my hand because I figured this video would not be that be that long. Um, Freemake. Freemake downloader, Freemake converter. I tell you right now, that is without a doubt the best program that you could ever use. If you want to get it, just go to freemake.com and simply go over and pick out the software you want to use. You got your video converter, you got your video downloader, you got your audio converter, and you got, of course, a YouTube thing where I can switch it over to MP3s. But you don't have to do that. You can go open up the uh, DVD, the Freemake video converter, your video downloader, and you can automatically, you know, have it converted over from an MP4 to an AVI, and you would be able to do that. Um, but yeah, Freemake is a great company. They just they just keep doing, making things a lot more better for you. And all they do ask is for a donation, small donation, just to help them with server costs and help them, you know, help help them keep this application free. So if you have a few bucks in your pocket and you want to do something with it, you don't know what to do with it, um, then I suggest you probably want to go ahead and you um, want to make a small donation. You don't have to make. They're not going to take ninety nine cents, so don't try putting ninety nine cents in. But if you put like 
they'll, they'll be they'll take that and they'll appreciate the help. Um, other sponsors, of course, manufacturer sponsors JBC, which is the name of the company that I use. Um, also, all kinds of other stuff. Any machines, of course, my computer where I upload the videos. And I think that's pretty much about it. And the aspects of my sponsors. I have a few things I want to get off my chest. And I know this is a Bucket Mr. Jeff is supposed to be a family program. It's supposed to be aimed towards, you know, whatever. So I'll try telling the story. I'll you know, cut out the fall language and just put, like, dang. So every time you hear the word dang, that means I'm saying it. Now, if you want to, there's two ways you can see my videos. Number one, if you're on Facebook, ask for an invite, I invite you in, and you can watch all my episodes all the way through. Or if you happen to be on, if you happen to be, um, if you happen to be on, a, if you want to search for it, because it is going to be uploaded to YouTube, all you have to do is go to your search box, or whatever it may be, type in breakfast with Jeff, space, Christmas 2015 and you will get the latest episode of Breakfast with Jeff and I cannot stress to you much than to go ahead and, and use this product I kind of look like I, I'm looking at myself in the, and I got a little viewfinder and it looks like one of my eyes is black and the other one is like bright so I got a black eye here and I've got a, a light eye there it's weird so if I look like a zombie, I apologize. Um, so basically, I want to explain what happened. My loving neighbor is driving me crazy. Um, so unfortunately, something was going on about my shows. So now we do invites only. If you want to be, you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is ask for an invite. I won't put a sign, sign in. You can watch all the videos that you have. If you want to make it real easy on yourself, just type in my name. Jeff's things want just put the whole name in and what will happen is it'll bring up my channel and show all my videos and you can go ahead and watch it. Or you can do a search, same thing, Marcus and Jeff, and then Space, Christmas 2015. Um, but yeah, I think some some reason somehow my neighbor got probably got a hold of one of my shows. I did do a show called My Neighbor and um, it isn't hard to get. You just go to YouTube, you type in the name of the show, boom. There it is. Now you can watch it on YouTube, and there you go. Am I going to stop doing videos? Am I going to stop posting on face on there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to continue to do my shows. I'm going to continue to do what I need to do. You know, this is for a lot of our good friends that are from different states that cannot come down here. This is kind of the that's the way I'm bringing them into my home, and uh, you can take a look at the festivities and stuff. Not much going on though. We have our Christmas tree lit up. Um, we've got, you know, TV set. My mom and my mom gave me and Sam a 42-inch flat-screen TV, courtesy from Toshiba. Um, so it's both me and Sam's. We each had a birthday, and this is, was part of our birthdays. Um, I got new chairs. No more couches. We have two chairs that we might bring home flip it around so you can see them and then I'll turn them around back. So what will happen is when the show's about over, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn it, I'll show you the TV, I'll show you, the, actually I won't show you the TV, I'll show you the, the recliners, and then I'll show you the Christmas tree and show you what it looks like um, as well. I am doing pretty good. I'm up to nine minutes now. I haven't even went ten minutes yet. So i got to think, figure things out to say. Um, what is new with me and Sam is not much of anything. We're just kind of trying to stay warm, and we're trying to. Um, it's going to be a real interesting day tomorrow. I got to get up, and I'm going to have to peel some potatoes for our Christmas dinner, and um, I also need to get these homemade stuffing put in the crock pot to keep warm, so that will be all ready for when Sam's dad is going to come over and he's going to celebrate the Christmas this morning with me as well. So that's going to be fun. We're, I'm sure we'll exchange presents and stuff. But um, to, my, to, my, to my family, to yours, I hope you all have a good, uh, merry and safe Christmas and a very, very happy New Year. Um, but yeah, if anybody asks the question of why do I do this show, a um, couple reasons actually. Number one, 
like I said, a lot of our friends are from out of state. They can't come down to see us because it's too hard for them to do that. Too much money has it, you know, to get down there. So I decide if I do this show, I'm bringing all our friends into, I'm bringing all my friends into my home. And you can take a look at the studio around me. I'm sitting behind some blinds. That's the front of the of our place. Um, as I've got this little chair that I'm sitting on. And for light, I've got a little tiny lamp that is illuminating Santa Claus. Um, but that's kind of what's going on. The, the Santa Claus only cost a buck. So that was pretty cool. Um, the chairs... You know, I can't stress enough my mom to say thank you to her and her, and her and her Dan for allowing us to have these chairs, you know, picking up our, our couch and taking these chairs so we can sit down and watch TV when we want when we get up and do whatever. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, there's a lot, of, they have a lot of headlines going on in the world. Um, Donald Trump is running for president, and I think I'm not a voter. And you're going to ask him what he's in. Why don't you be? Because I don't believe in this. I don't believe in presidency. I don't believe in one person running the entire world. And I don't, don't want to waste my time watching some billionaire become the, our president. So if I don't believe in it, I'm not going to do it. And I'm not trying to make anybody mad. It's just how I am. I don't want to take my time. I don't want to waste my time. Because I don't know any I don't know any of these people. I don't know Jeb Bush. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time, you know, in a, in a porter potty trying to vote for somebody I don't even know. I don't know a dang thing about this person. So why in the world would I want to waste my time voting for somebody I don't even know who the hell they are? And Donald Trump, you know, Mr. Billionaire, is going out and he's trying to throw his hat in for the presidency. And that's that's the bottom line. That's the end of that's you know, I, I was thinking maybe I should for the better better of the country, but then I think about it, I look and I see Donald Trump standing there with his little fucking his little toupee, I apologize for the bad word. What I meant to say is that he's a billionaire guy, he's got this big toupee on and I'm sorry to say it, but that is not his real hair. There's no way in hell. You can sit there and you can play that game all you want. But, you know what? That is not his real hair. You know, I guess if I was running for president, I wouldn't want my hair. I didn't want to, I wouldn't want my bald spot hanging out. So, whatever. What else is new? Um, not much of anything. Um, but uh, I just want to let you know, um, this is Christmas 2015. We will do another show again just before New Year's Eve, okay? Just before New Year's Eve, we're going to do a show. It'll be called New Year's Eve 2016. It's going to be an awesome show. That's going to be in about a week or so. So the latest one, of course, is called Christmas 2015. And like I said, I'm telling you upcoming shows. We've got, like I said, a show coming up. Um, and uh, that will be New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, New Year's. And uh, it's going to be a nice day to celebrate and have a good time and ring in a two, brand new 2016 year. And um, that sounds pretty cool. So, so if you're trying to want to know when is this Breakfast with Jeff going to come back, it's going to come back on the last week of the, the month of January in December. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to sit right down in this nice little chair here. And we're going to talk about some topics about stuff, and we're going to talk about wishing all our friends a very Merry Christmas. And I'm going to do another, I'm going to throw my hat on, out into the, um, this is another subject, another promotional thing that I want to say. Um, if you're bored, you know, you don't have nothing to do, you just kind of, if you happen to have a get-together, you know, a birthday, anniversary, or something like that, um, you can go ahead and you can hire me, call well, keep it Jeff, and um, it's a very easy thing. You go to the website, um, which is going to be labeled up there. If you, if you go onto my page, you'll see that it says call well, keep it Jeff. Click on it. It'll bring you to my website. If you feel that you you, you would like to book a, a show, um, all you have to do is push the contact button, and I believe by email will pop up. All you have to do is 
send a little email, click the button, it will go to me, and then I will go and we'll, then you can push, once everything's done, we'll push the book, book button and a show button, we'll pick out a, a certain time, and then, like I said, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, Price-wise, I haven't really talked about it. I don't know how much price we would be charging for, but I want viewers to understand that when you hire somebody, you know, money is the big issue. Um, what if you guys live 25 miles away or two hours away? That is a long, dr a long drive to put equipment to. So basically, we would, we pretty much would want a pretty decent um, uh, amount of money to do the show because I'm just like anybody else. I'm throwing my hat in the ring. I'm trying to see if anybody is interested in doing a show. Um, like on the website, it says that I have a really low profile type of system. I don't have I don't have big fancy you know mixers or anything like that. It's just pretty basic, but it sounds good. It plays good. And uh, it's 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 going to be it would be a good time, I really do. So, if you are interested, you have a birthday that's coming up, you can go ahead and book ahead of time, get you all set up, and that's pretty much about it. And then, of course, on that date, I would probably get there a little early so I can do a sound check, make sure everything's looking good, and go from there. But until then, but I had to throw it out um, because a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't you know don't say anything, don't push anything, so. Um, and that's fine, but if you do happen to have a, uh, a special occasion coming up and you just said you want to get entertainment, um, like I said, go to my website, click on contact, send me a nice little email in the title subject screen, just put in karaoke show and a question mark just, in, just say that we're working on that. And I will go ahead and I'll reply to your email, plus I will talk to Sam and see what she wants to do, um, see how much it's going to run you. And just to give you a little clue, understand this. If, you get, if you're going to have a party, it is good to have entertainment. And there's lots and lots of other forms of entertainment. I'm sure I'm not the only karaoke person in, in the United States of America. And that's fine to you. You can go ahead and hire someone who's a lot more skilled than I am. But, but the difference is I'm just an ordinary guy, you know, who basically enjoys doing, enjoys singing, enjoys having a good time. He likes to see people have a good time. And um, I can't see having a birthday party or anniversary and not having any entertainment. you got to remember, entertainment means that we entertain you for the next two hours or three hours, whatever it may be. And at the end of the time, you can pick up a card and you can say, okay, here you go. I want to go ahead and hire him for this. Instead of hiring for that, all you have to do is do exactly what I tell you. Go into the push the button where it says um, contact. Put in all your information. Send the email. I will apply to the email and I will talk to Sam about where we want to be on on uh, how much it will cost for me to go into a show. Um, honestly, I'm new at this. I'm not a professional by any means. Um, I do have a great system. It sounds really, really great. It sounds good. Um, I have over close to 3,000 to 4,000 songs, so I definitely have the entertainment music to go with it. Um, I do have new music. I do have Adele. I do have Katy Perry. I do have um, Lady Gaga. I'm sure I have that. So um, so I do have the latest hits. I'm not, I don't just have old music. I have also new music. I have Jesus music. Some, I call it Jesus music because it's... Maybe somebody wants to sing a good Jesus song. I have Christmas songs, of course, as well. Um, but I have the top five radio songs on karaoke, so basically you'll get a good definition of music that you want. Um, I think I'm pleading to you guys. I'm, I'm, if you, like I said, if you're, you know, I know some spring and summer is going to be coming. We had always still got a full month yet before we even get close to there. But um, I would seriously think if I'm having a birthday party or anniversary, I would seriously think about hiring, you know, hiring a karaoke person. And I'm no different than they are, you know. I have equipment that I that I bring. Um, I do have I do have great music. I do have all kinds of varieties of music. Um, I also will be doing videos once I do go do this karaoke thing. 
I will make uh, sample videos, uh, audio uh, videos of certain songs. And the difference between Mr. Billy Jack, Billy Jack is a karaoke guy, and um, he's done like all rock songs. He, there's not one song that was country or reggae or anything. When you see my show, when you see me doing my stuff, you're going to see things like your country song, something like, um, something like, um, Alan Jackson, or something like Lone Star, or maybe something like Blackhawk, or maybe something like Kenny Chesney. And then you've got your rock, and then you've got things like Mr. Pussycat, and you've got things like Poison, and Motley Crue, and Def Leppard, and 38 Special, classic music. And then, of course, you can't forget the latest hits like Adele's Hello, and you know, a couple of other, a few other songs that I'm not, I have never pronounced, but I do have them on karaoke. And uh, so I do have a very, very good variety of songs. And when I do my videos, I'm going to do country. I'm going to do rock. I'm going to do classic rock. I'm going to do um, country. I'm going to do pretty much probably five or six different ver variety of songs. And said, uh, instead of me, me sitting on a chair with a microphone and cranking up my auto tune and singing the song, that's all rock. You know? You don't sing anything else but rock. You don't sing. You don't sing things like Wham. You don't sing things like Survivor or any of them. But you know what? That's fine. So when the uh, show does happen, we do have a show that we do every year for Memorial Day. We do a Memorial Day jam, and um, it's going to be a great time. But that's not going to be until probably March or April. I think March. So March or April um, of 2016 will be the. Um, the recreation of karaoke, um, and it will be rocking because, like I said, I will do probably eight different variety, various varieties of karaoke music. I could go down as far down as Elvis Presley. I could go up and high as as Moon Five or Katy Perry or Lady Gaga. I even got that one song. I don't know what the name of the band, but it's called Saint Joanna. That's another one that was on the radio. Once again, I have that on karaoke. So um, don't be fooled. Just because I do have an 80s theme, don't think that I don't have other music that I can, that I can pronounce and sing to you. So, so if you do look at my uh, website and you decide you want to do something, that's wonderful. Um, but if, it's, if you feel that you're just not doing anything or you don't want to do any parties or whatever, then that's fine too. But I'm going to give you how to do it. It's a very, very, very easy way. I do have a phone number on my thing, and it is for my little phone, which is in the bedroom. And yep, that's the way if you want to call and want to plan something out, we can talk about it. Um, some people might give up and say, oh, I don't want to do that. And then other people might say, oh, yeah, that's cool. So it's very easy to, to get set up. All you do is you go to karaoke with Jeff, you know, Click the link on my face in my Facebook. Go to my website, and uh, if you look, at, you can look at the pictures and see the songs that I have. Then you can scroll down to contact, click a button, put in all your messaging, put in karaoke shows, and then put a question mark, and then type in, you know, basically what you, you know, what you're going to be doing, what you want to do, what you're going to, you know. Once you get done with that, then we'll go and see about maybe. One, how much it would cost to do the show, and two, um, make sure that you get the song that you want to that you want to sing. Um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want things laying on the floor. I don't want to sit here and do this and do that. I would, I like to be able to, to, you know, have you guys to be able to do a show. So if you've got a, a graduation, or you, or you might have, a, you know, even a, you know, a married thing, maybe you might have, you know, maybe you have, you know. Maybe you want to just go off the camera, and maybe you don't want to do anything. But um, that's pretty much what that is. Um, so it's very simple. If you are interested in doing a show, get a hold of me. I will email you back right away, not a problem. Um, once we get that all taken care of and we figure out how much you know it's going to be, then we're going to go and talk about when, when the show is going to start. Is it going to be a morning show or is it going to be a night show? Is it going to be something at 3, 4 o'clock at night or is it going to be something like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock? Um, but once we do establish 
one or one hours and stuff. Like I said, it, it will be set up on, on the uh, calendar. You know, just simply say, karaoke show, blah, 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 and it'll say where, you know, it's going to be going at. So, that's pretty much all you have to do. And, uh, just, you know, if you if you have a, a birthday coming up, or you have a, something going on, um, go ahead and plan karaoke. And I would love to get a chance to do, I'd love to get the chance to go and, and, and get paid and do a good, put on a good show. I would love to do that. Um. I just, I'm just saying, if you guys have an anniversary, or you have a birthday, or you happen to have a, just a basic get-together, you know, that would be wonderful, you know, and it would be a good time, and I would guarantee it, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I mean, I, I like to see people get a good entertainment, I like to see them enjoy stuff, and that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how to do the whole karaoke thing, and see, it's not just go to my, to get there, all you have to do is go to Go to my uh, picture, go into my profile, you'll see a, a link that says Black Mr. Jeff or something. If it's just a basic link, just click on it, it'll bring up the web page, and then you just follow the instructions like I told you, and uh, we'll go from there. And you just you don't have to book it for, for you know January or February. You can book it all the way up to March or April because as I understand, you know, but I can march it up to, to eight March and April and we can talk about, you know, and you can have, we can have a show booked in March and say, okay, we got to go to this place in March, but we got to go to this place in March. Whatever it may be, you know, it, it's going to be a great time. And um, I just think that if you have an anniversary or you have some sort of thing going on or whatever, I think it would be really nice to, um, I think it would be really nice to uh, to pretty much figure out what we're going to do. You know what I mean? That's what I think. But yeah, I put the uh, put the link down my, on my profile page. Go ahead and take a look at it. If you're interested, all you have to do is send me a, uh, a message and I will get back to you right away and let you know and we can set something up. It doesn't have to be tomorrow or next week. It could be not until March or April. I believe March I have a show, a, a Memorial Day bash going on. So, but, but like I said, that's, you know, that's on a holiday. But anything in April, you know, I could do a karaoke show um, in April. Um, we can have it all set up in, in the meantime. Um, do you have to pay up front? Absolutely. Um, it costs money to get the equipment down there and, um, you know, and you know, we're just trying to make, you know, get money for what we do. Number one thing is gas, you know, getting gas for the vehicle, for the car, to be able to haul the stuff down there. And there's extra money that basically gives us Sam, you know, and that is for her driving, it's for her, for getting all the stuff up there and supporting me, and that's part of what she gets. And um, so that's kind of what the way that's going. Um, but yeah, I'm just saying, you know, um, if, you know, like I said, I have it on there, you can take a look, send me an email, I'll go right to my email, I'll check it out. Um, easiest way to do it is type in karaoke show and put a question mark on it. Because when I see that subject, that will let me know that there's somebody that would like to be able to book a show. Okay? If I don't see an email, I don't see a, you know, karaoke show and a question mark, then I think I'll just delete it because it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a title. I don't know what this what it's about. And that's pretty much how that is. So I just wanted. I'm sorry that I keep pushing the whole web page on you, but I really would love to have a show. I'd love to make a little bit of money doing this because I know there's other karaoke people who probably have gigs all over the place. But I'd like to see myself get a gig. I'd like to see myself playing in, in some area, you know, of some sorts. As I'm looking, I'm looking at my battery. It's almost getting dead. I got about a couple bars, so I'll hurry up and finish up my show, and then we'll get this all uploaded and ready to go. So, um, just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a very safe and happy New Year. Um, I'd like to thank Freemake for doing a great job of making the videos look so great. I really appreciate that. I want to say thank you to JBC Company for, of course, the nice, wonderful 
uh, video camera. And I would like to say thank you to anybody who watches this video, obviously. And uh, in the aspects of uh, doing a show, all you have to do is send me a message and we'll go from there. And it could be it could be in April, it could be in, you know, a couple of days from now, it all depends. If you're really interested in it, feel free to send me a message. If you're not, please don't. Don't do that, you know, don't shut everything up. Just go ahead and uh, just wait a couple of days. At least give me a couple of days to get all situated, okay? Because sometimes you don't really want to carry everything out and rip everything and find this and find that. So it's just a lot easier that if you are serious, feel free to send me a message. Um, I would like to see about getting that done. And uh, the people that do, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And the people that don't, I can't stress you enough to go ahead and um, and do what you got to do. So that's pretty much what that is. Um, so like I said, I said a happy, Merry Christmas and a very happy safe New Year. I'm going to kick this off and to our, my, our good friends. Um, God, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And uh, like I said, it's Christmas Eve. It's, it's dark outside. And I'm pretty much tired. My battery's dying anyway. So I'm going to get this uploaded. And um, to, I just hope that you all have a good and safe Christmas. All our friends from Facebook. Um, you can catch this on YouTube. Just type in Marcus and Jeff space Christmas 2015 then and then I'm doing so you can go ahead and you can just pop the thing on and get it done with. and you can also see it on Facebook just get an invite from me and you can come in and watch all the videos random order not a problem so that's two ways of being able to check up and read my stuff okay so that's as far as that goes my battery's going dead I just want to say thank you to all our friends and uh Hope you have a very safe and happy Christmas, and I'm going to go and get this thing uploaded. And to all my great friends, have a good Christmas, and I will see you next time. And we'll see you in about a few, few days when we do our next breakfast with Jeff, and that will be called New Year's Eve 2016. Until then, folks, have a safe and Merry Christmas. We'll see you then.